Oh, yeah, I, had, I had one question there um, who's been very patient and then I'm happy to take, I haven't much to add on to what I said on Iraq yesterday, but yeah. Thanks, Prime Minister. Just on your ad detailing the mm. ADF assistance, the mm. Australian Defence Association has labelled it a clear breach of the non-partisanship convention applying to both the ADF and ministers. Mm. I just wanted your response on that. Well, I think this issue has um, received a lot of attention. Let me just stress firstly um, that the postings that we've made in, in messages has been to inform the community about what the Commonwealth Government is doing. And that's what we must do. Wherever I've been, people have said, well, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you providing? What is Hello, the you're watching ABC. For those just joining us, we're listening to the Prime Minister giving a live update on the fire emergency. And it's important that I communicate what we are doing with the Australian people. As much as we'd all like to only rely on the reporting of the media to get those information out, I will also seek to carry that message directly to the Australian people to ensure that they are aware of what we are doing. Now, this is the same format that has been used to communicate these messages now for months, including the sorts of images that you referred to, and no objection has previously been made when that has been done. There has been some talk of the authorisation that sits on the end of that video message. That is a requirement of Australian law. It is not something that I can post on my social media page without carrying that uh, authorisation. That does not mean it is a political message in any way, shape or form. It is just complying with Australian law. As you know, the opposition, the Labor Party and other parties have similar authorisations on the back of very similar types of messages that they have been conveying on their commentary about these events. So um, where that can be improved, I'm happy to take the helpful suggestions that have been made, but we've been acting in accordance with the same procedure we've in, had in place now for many, many months. But let me assure Australians, the purpose is just to communicate as simply and helpfully as we possibly can about what the government is doing to get resources, to get support to those places that need it. And it's important, I think, that the over-analysis of these things can create unnecessary anxiety and we're simply seeking to help people know what we're doing. Isn't there a difference between an Australian government-sponsored ad and a Liberal Party-sponsored ad? And the, the ads in tomorrow's paper. Well, it wasn't a Liberal Party-sponsored ad. It's it was authorised by me. I'm the leader of the Liberal Party, and that's the only authorisation I can post on something that is posted on, on my page. Right. And as you know, that is the same thing that applies to other politicians in Australia. It is simply requiring, complying with the requirements of Australian law. And to infer from that, in, to infer from that uh, that there was some other uh, purpose in these communications is I reject absolutely, absolutely, and, uh, and the commentary on that along those lines I think is false. Well, these ads in tomorrow's papers um, explain the riot. Is the taxpayers going to fund them? or? The well, those are, those are being placed by the Australian Defence Forces directly under their own authority uh, and under their own budgets for undertaking those and they've been done at their decision. this ad? It was on Facebook. <laughs> I mean, it, it's put together. It's put together in by my own office, and and uh, th there is there are no real honest expenses that are of any significance that are attached to making a Facebook post. 